Today, Kevin and I are going to be trying some Kodiak cakes. These are power cakes, flapjack and waffle mix. This is the chocolate chip variety. It was sent to us from Daniel, so thank you very much to Daniel. All you need is uh, water. You need one cup of this powder and three-fourths cup water. So let's take a look. This is how it looks. And like I said, it's the... Um, it's the chocolate chip, so I do see some chocolate chips in there. So, I have my half measuring cup so I can fit it down in there. And then I'm just going to stir it together. And then in a, uh, a skillet, I just put some, uh, that's the Great Value Vegetable Spray in the bottom so that it doesn't stick. But you just want to stir this together. And then I have another measuring um, measuring cup out, a fourth of a cup. That goes together really, really easily. Um, it's a fourth of a cup, and you want to make your pancakes about that size. So I'm just going to scoop it up here and plop it in here. And it's I've, a thicker mix. It's very thick, but in look, it kind of, you can see it looks kind of fluffy in there, doesn't it? Kind of... It kind of looks like it has a, a whipped, uh, like you get the whipped pudding. That's what this looks like. It, has, it looks like it has a, a whipped texture to it. So I'm going to wait until the edges uh, turn brown around the outside, and then we'll flip them over. Because the texture of these is so different, this is different like than anything we've had. It's hard to tell um, if they're ready, but... I peeled up the side a little bit and it was brown. So, so I'm assuming these are ready too. I'm just gonna flip them over and let them cook again. So I'm just gonna pull these off the heat and they cooked really easy. I do have to save that for them. Uh, but then Kevin and I are going to give them a try. So we're not gonna add syrup. To a lot of people, that might seem odd, but we are reviewing the mix itself, the raw mix that you get. And anytime we have added syrup to anything, it tastes like syrup. You know, that's that's what it's meant to do. It adds sweetness to everything. So we want to be able to tell you if we like this mix or not. So chocolate chip made with freshly ground grains and no preservatives for optimal freshness stored at cool dry place i didn't need to read you that i guess um there are 10 servings in the container and i could have made more than the three i still have more left over in my bowl of this i probably could have made another uh, at, least at least two, two yeah. um we want to try them when they were hot though. yes yes uh, so half a cup, 53 grams is 200 calories, which is uh, quite a few calories, honestly. Uh, they're made in Park City, Utah. We made them with water. If you want, you can make them with milk or uh, you, and replace the water, replace the water with milk, or you can replace the water with milk and an egg if you want more protein. Yeah. So that's just totally up to you. I don't even know if we need them. Yeah. yeah. No, it's kind of hot. The the texture is much denser than like a traditional painting. Mm -hmm. Well, they're calling them flapjacks. I do get the chocolate and mm -hmm. the chocolate chips. A little bit. I like that. I like the chocolate. And the outside has a little texture of like a like a gritty sugary kind of texture. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. not bad. It's I don't not, really like it. It's not as fluffy as some. Mm -hmm. It almost has a texture like it's got just a little bit of cornmeal mixed in there. Do you get a little grittiness? In there? Yeah, but I actually really, right really on. like it. Now, that being said, I do think this is one of the higher calorie mixes that we've mm -hmm. tried. I think uh, 200 calories for half a cup of this is a lot more calories. Now, I can't tell you that with certainty, but we have uh, tried a bunch and that does seem like higher calorie but i can understand now why so many people buy these because I've, I've people have been telling me for a long time that i need to try these and frankly we don't buy large boxes of, of mixes like this just because we don't make pancakes mm -hmm. that often at all um but daniel sent it to me it's like i'm glad you i'm actually glad really glad you sent it because 
Um, it's something that people have been asking me to try for a while. So I think this is a really good chocolate chip mix. I think it's good. I probably wouldn't buy it because I don't like the texture. It's too dense and heavy for me. I and like I, a, and I really I like a like lighter, it. fluffier kind of pancake. Mm -hmm. And um, and these are very dense and flat. They are. They're they're dense. They're cake like though. Yeah, they're more cake like. Almost like you're eating a muffin. Yeah, but I think that's perfect. Also, they have recipes on the back for coffee chip muffins. And you have to have more ingredients for that. You have to have like a banana. You have to have three tablespoons of instant coffee, but that sounds good. And then they also have a recipe for chocolate chip scones. So mm. if you want to make scones, you can add some brown sugar, some butter. Now see that might be good because that, that's a denser texture anyway. So yeah. that might go really well with this mix. It's not bad, don't get me wrong. I'm not complaining that they taste bad or anything like that. It's just compared to other things, I would rather have a fluffier pancake. Right. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you've had this brand, I know a lot of you have, please leave comments below. How do you like them made the best? Do you like them better with the milk? Do you like them with an, uh, milk and an egg? I like them with water. To me, they're perfect with the water. That, that was awesome. So I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.